Hey, I'm Jeff and welcome back to another video. Getting your propagations to root is one thing, whether that is in water, perlite, or whichever method it is that you choose, but getting them to transition nicely to soil from their propagation medium can be a little bit tricky as well. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I do to keep my cuttings looking healthy as they transition into soil. Water can be the easiest and fastest method to propagate a plant and honestly it can be the most satisfying watching the roots grow through a clear container like this. But it can be the most difficult to transition to soil just because water roots are typically thinner, they're more delicate and they are more susceptible to drying out. So when you transition them to soil, don't let the soil dry out at all, otherwise you're gonna lose the cutting. So keep it well watered for a few weeks, then slowly cut back on watering till it gets to a regular watering routine, like this philodendron micans that I just potted up. I'm not going to let this dry out for about a week or so, and then each time I'm going to let it get a little bit drier, and then give it some water and let it dry out a little bit more until it gets its uh, kind of regular watering routine. So just don't let it dry out, otherwise you're gonna lose these cuttings really quick. If you've ever had a tough time transitioning water cuttings into soil, then give the Perlite Prop Box a try. I've not only had really good success with uh, rooting most cuttings that I put in here, like 95% of the cuttings that I put in here, they grow really nice roots, but I find that when you go to transfer it to soil, it doesn't have that tough transition like water does into soil. Perlite is light, but it has a fairly similar consistency to soil. A lot of people use perlite as a soil amendment, so it's really no different in regards to the density between perlite and a well-draining soil mix. So that's why I think that it does much better transitioning into soil. So if you've had problems in the past, just give perlite a chance and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I have a number of different cuttings in here. This is the philodendron fuzzy petiole. Uh, the roots look really nice on this. And then same with Hoyas. These root really fast and they do really well. Um, here's another one. It's got a bunch of different types of Hoyas in here. Perlite is really good at holding on to moisture, but not enough where it's gonna cause root rot. And then when you have it in a container like this, that holds in the humidity as well. So that just allows for a quick rooting method. I have two prop boxes right now. Uh, rooting a bunch of uh, different uh, types of plants. So obviously I got my Hoyas and stuff in here. I have a, an Epipren and Panatum uh, yellow flame. I have some more Hoyas, some Alocasia corms, and some Anthurium chonks, like this guy right here. Next, make sure you have an appropriate size pot. I have all these philodendron micans, single leaf cuttings uh, placed in this four and a half inch pot. If you pot it in something too small like this one, it's going to get root bound really fast and it's gonna dry out fairly quick. So not an ideal choice for this size of cuttings or this many cuttings. If you place it in something too large, there's just gonna be too much soil in there holding on to moisture for too long. And over time, it's probably gonna develop root rot. And make sure your pot has a drain hole in the bottom so any excess water can drain out and not lead to that. That, uh, dreaded root rot situation. If you want to add cuttings into an existing pot to make it fuller, I would suggest potting up the uh, propagated cuttings in its own separate pot. That way it can transition to soil properly just because these come from a high humid, high moisture environment and you don't want to put them in dry soil. Otherwise you're going to end up in that situation of these roots drying out really quick and the plant not surviving. So just place them in their own container, put some soil in and keep it well watered until it transitions nicely to soil. Once it transitions to soil, then you can take these plants and combine them together to make a nice fuller pot. After that transition period into soil, make sure that you let this one get dry so that when you add the cuttings in, you can water both plants at the same time. So you'll probably both need water. And all I do is take out the plant like this, kind of break it up a little bit, take these cuttings out of their soil, and then pot them up together, and then just re-add the soil in. And you can arrange it however you want. So it's just a nice full pot. I'm just gonna add the soil back in and then I'm gonna give it some water. This is the safest way to add cuttings into an existing pot because you have two different types of requirements. You have the original plant that liked the roots to, uh, to get a little bit drier and then the ones that were in that kind of high humidity, high moisture level. Um, so just transitioning it into soil on its own then adding it uh, together once it's transitioned is the easiest way or the safest way to make sure that your cuttings uh, survive. Just gonna make sure it comes out the bottom of the drain hole here. Just giving it a little bit more water. And now I have a nice full pot of Jade Satin Scandapsis. I think the last thing I'm going to touch on is soil. Make sure you place your cuttings and your plants in a well-draining soil. I like to use 50% uh, Promix's Tropical Plant Mix with 50% of their orchid bark. It's just uh, lots of 
chunky bits in there. This just allows for excellent drainage. Healthy plants need healthy roots and healthy roots need airflow. And that's what these airy chunky mixes do. It just allows a lot of airflow, a lot of oxygen to those roots so the plant can grow healthy and happy. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you wanna watch another houseplant video, click this one right here. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Bye.